November 13th, we have the wonderful opportunity of sitting down with Heather Marion, a writer from Better Call Saul. We have some great highlights to show you, and Heather starts off by telling us some of the tips that she had from the beginning of her career. Let's check it out. Basically, the story of my life is just saying yes to things that I didn't yet know how to do and then figuring out how to do them later. <laughs> I got the job for Better Call Saul season one. Mm -hmm. I was not hired as a writer. I was hired as the writer's assistant. So I was the person in the room uh, taking all the notes when, when the writers were talking. Your job as a writer in the room is not just to bring your ideas, but it's to make other ideas work. Right. And it's to make other people feel heard. And sometimes you do that by biting your tongue. Being in a, a group right situation, not a group, a group think situation mm -hmm. where you're breaking the episode and, and you're going in one day like really excited about what you have to say. And then right. you, you like spill your guts on the table and you're like, this is the best idea that I've ever had. And then everybody is, just looks at you and they're like, interesting. And then they move on. <laughs> like there are times like that. So, right. you know, it's a balance of like uh, giving your idea at the right time mm -hmm. because my job is to listen to the showrunner, mm -hmm. uh, his vision of what the show is, and then pitch into that. There's that, like, what's it called? The Dunning-Kruger effect. It's like, the, l the less you know, the more confident you are. Mm -hmm. so, and that happens to people, that they're like, I'm, you know, I'm the best writer I know. And mm -hmm. then, and then you, the more you learn, you're like, oh, like, right. my first script was not a masterpiece <laughs> oh, gotcha. at all. Sometimes in the industry, you have to be willing to compromise your own ideas. Not necessarily sacrificing your creativity, but just being open to what others have to say. And Heather also tells us a little bit more about how the industry is changing. And with those changes, it's allowing you guys to forge your own way. When I started, uh, so many professors told me that I had to pick drama or comedy. I had to pick one. Uh, and now there are 30 minute dramas. And now there are hour long comedies. Mm -hmm. And now there are dramedies, like Better Call Saul. Right. So what you should do is write the thing that you want to write and that you love to write and that is your voice regardless of what anybody tells you about tone. I, I would say like don't get your heart set on one specific job. Like if you're saying I want to be a writer's assistant and you're not willing to take any other job then that's not going to service you. If you can get a PA job on set, if you can get a PA job in post-production, you're still going to learn just as much about the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so take, take jobs, say yes. Like I, like I said, be willing to work for free. Be willing to take a job at Starbucks and then work for free at a production company as an intern mm. for three months so they can get to know you. And do everything you can really well. Mm. Um, and you can do that by also looking around you and asking your fellow assistants and fellow classmates how you can help them. Right. If somebody's working on a short film, like do crafty for them. Um, Ask people how you can help them before you ask them to help you. Pay attention to what other people are doing, right. uh, that, are, that they're doing it well. And not everybody in here wants to be a writer, so whatever it is in your field, like really study the thing that you're trying to do. Pick the person that you want to be like. No path is the same, so the best you can do is like get educated and then do the work. Be proactive. Right, right. yeah. And kind of get your feet wet, like just kind of, you know. I always like to say Write that. the thing. Right. Write the thing. Better to try than... Shoot the thing. Right. <laughs> right. Better yeah. to try than not. Right. <laughs>